the invisible man by h g wells and today we are on chapter number 23 in drury lane if you remember in chapter number 22 in the emporium uh, we had found our protagonist the invisible man or griffin as his name is uh, he went to an emporium and he thought that th that would be the end of his problems because he would be able to find clothes to wear and of course money that he would be able to steal from there but his uh, plan proved to be quite a failure because he overslept and as we had done an important dream sequence that uh, the author has given in detail and which holds out his subconscious fears and the fact that how lonely he felt in the society because um, as in the dream uh, he was actually buried with the uh, in the funeral of his father in the grave of his father uh, because he was invisible and inaudible so in this chapter chapter number 23 the list of characters is actually similar to what we have had dr kem the listener of the story griffin who is the uh, reciter of the story or he is the one who is narrating his whole sequence and uh, we also have another character the character of a shop owner in drury lane as the name of the chapter suggests so In chapter number twenty-three, we find Griffin out on the streets of London, and we can we can say that he was in a bad shape because he is freezing cold. and his invisibility until now has only proved to be a disadvantage because he has suffered so much as we have seen in the previous and uh, in the earlier chapters that he has only suffered because of his invisibility it has not proved to be of any value or any power as he had thought it would be it has only proved to be a disadvantage to him and then uh, he realizes that uh, it is not possible to stay in a city like london because it is an overcrowded place it is a place teeming with people people everywhere in the streets on the lanes and uh, he doesn't even have a place to stay and he doesn't even have any money and any attempts have proved to be failures so it is impossible to stay in a city like london and he needed to look normal what do we mean by normal he needed to look visible in order to go any further go anywhere have a place to live because it was impossible to go on being invisible so from being normal which means from being visible he wanted to become invisible he studied hard for it he uh, grappled with all the experiments finally attained success he became invisible and now he wants back uh, uh, into visibility because he has found that invisibility is not such a good thing after all maybe he thinks maybe it proves to be of benefit later on but right now he is in search of clothes money so that he could look normal he could be visible so that he could think out further plans and then uh, the invisible man goes into a shop of 
थिएटर आइटम्स ड्रेसेस एंड विग्स एट्सेट्रा इन ड्रूरी लेन एज द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज वेन ही एंटर्स द शॉप इट इज एन एम टी शॉप देर इज नो बडी देयर एंड देन द शॉप कीपर अपियर्स as we have done in the list of characters there is the character of the shopkeeper the shopkeeper appears only to find that there is no customer there is no client because obviously he is not able to see uh, the invisible man uh, since there is no customer he goes upstairs to finish his meal he was having breakfast so he goes upstairs the invisible man follows him but the shopkeeper is a man with very sharp senses uh, there are people who have really sharp senses they can sense presence they can hear even slightest of voices and this kind of man the shopkeeper is he has very sharp senses he can hear even slightest of sounds just like the sound of somebody moving so when the invisible man follows him upstairs this man has a feeling that there are sounds on the stairs of course there are sounds of his footsteps and uh, that is why he is very alert this man is very very alert and he is also suspicious he is suspicious that there is somebody in the shop he feels he feels that there is somebody in the shop but he cannot see anyone of course he cannot see anyone but his senses are so alert that he feels that there is someone in the shop because of this reason he takes out after a number of uh instances when he hears sounds or footsteps or maybe when the invisible man moves around or follows him just in order to see what is there in the shop which is of use to him this shopkeeper he takes out his revolver because now he feels that there is really somebody he senses danger maybe he thinks that there is a thief lurking around hiding somewhere he senses danger he takes out his revolver and he starts locking the doors in his house and shop one by one so he keeps locking doors so that wherever this thief is hiding he would be locked inside and he would not be able to uh, flee from the place so he keeps locking the doors and uh, the doors of his shop and his house it's in the same building uh, one by one and keeps pocketing the keys so he keeps the keys in his pocket the invisible man initially waits for the man to go away or become busy so um, initially in the beginning the invisible man thought griffin thought that you know i would take something and go away after this man uh, leaves or after this man becomes busy but when he thinks that maybe i am locked inside when griffin uh, he has this fear of being locked somewhere inside what does he do later he loses his temper he becomes badly irritated who becomes irritated the invisible man griffin becomes so badly irritated by the shopkeeper that he hits him on the head so he has 
uh, no other option he just loses his temper he is so angry that he hits the shopkeeper on the head uh, the shopkeeper becomes unconscious and then what happens then what happens the invisible man steals stuff from his shop can you imagine when griffin told kemp that he has done this kemp is listening to the story just like we are just like the reader is kemp is shocked to hear this that now from being a man of science he has turned into a criminal he has turned into a thief and griffin is com- uh, sorry kemp is completely shocked at these revelations at the turn that the story is taking so the invisible man steals stuff from his shop uh, he steals clothes um, he steals money and makeup because it is a shop of theater item he steals wigs etc and he also steals the shoes of the man because he needs to look normal he needs to look visible so of course he needs needs uh, shoes and money